Hi Stampers! Today I've made this um, cute little Valentine's card with the Hey Valentine's set from the um, 2015 Occasions Catalog. And I've got a couple different techniques that I want to share with you. So I'm going to split them up into different videos. So to begin with, um, I'll show you the stamp set here. This is the stamp set. Really cute. Um, I actually got it in the um, the rubber, you know, the unmounted rubber, the clear set. And I think what I'm going to do, I haven't done it yet, but I am going to cut my stamps apart. I'm not sure on this one with that line, but I'm going to try to cut the words off because I think these cute images could be used for more than Valentine's. I think they could make some great kids' cards. So to begin with, paper behind the acetate is actually done with the bokeh or bouquet technique which is really hot right now and I just wanted to share that with you it's it's a little messy but it's really easy and fun so let's start with that uh, we're just gonna start with a piece of paper that is three by four inches wide and you want a really juicy ink pad and as you can tell I juiced mine up a little too much I'm starting with Island Indigo and it's really messy so I'm probably going to have to stop at some point and clean up. Don't over ink your pads either. If you notice a tail going by it's just my cat. Okay so I want a little bit of that and then I'm going to use some Coastal Cabana for the top color. And my Coastal Cabana, when I re-inked, turned out a little bit better than my Island Indigo. I actually had a major, um, you know, clean the table, try to clean my hands, scrub everything up, got my papers. I'm sure you've all been there, done that. So we're going to let that sit and dry for a minute, and I'll be back after I clean up. Okay, now, this has dried a little bit. Now, I have made... Um, a little template out of a scrap piece of the acetate. As you can see, I um, had stamped it and wasn't happy with my image. So I just randomly stamped some circles with every circle punch that was um, smaller than an inch that I own. So we're just going to ink up the white craft ink and go ahead and fill in all the circles that I've got on here. And you could um, use the um, dots mask from the stripes and dots set or um, you know make some of your own like this. I wanted them a little bit more random for this than the dots because they're that mask is like perfectly aligned circles. So then when you pick this up if you don't like you know the, the really dark lines you can go back with your dauber you know and kind of soften it and work it in if you want. If you like them bold, just leave them bold. You can also, you know, if you don't like this, you can go back with your blue again, and go over the edges. Just, you know, it depends on what look you're, you're going for. And each one is going to be different. You're going to find when you do them, no two are going to be alike, which I think is kind of neat. So you just go ahead and work on them until you get them the way you want it. And now you can do this in any color. You can use one color for your background. You can use several. And um, just a neat way to make a different background for your cards. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you just needed the bouquet or bokeh, whichever way you want to call it, um, technique, you know you're done here. But if you want to um, check back for my next one on coloring on the acetate, with our blend abilities markers. So hope you enjoyed this video and stop back for the next one. Thanks and have a great day.